Hello everyone, it's Dr. Nero Pundia. A lot of 49ers fans have questions about Jimmy Garoppolo's foot injury and what it means for him potentially returning this season, particularly with new reports that he may not need surgery. Here's a quick breakdown of these injuries in general, what some of the anatomy is behind these injuries, and what we look for in terms of return to play. The first important thing to understand is when an athlete suffers a severe injury like Jimmy did on the field on Sunday, one of the first things that will be done, particularly if the doctor and the medical staff is concerned, is an x-ray in the locker room. Now what the x-ray will show is obvious fractures, in addition, what can sometimes suggest that there might be a ligament injury. One of the things we get most concerned about, particularly when it's a very severe foot injury, is if there's any injury to the soft tissues, particularly the Lis Franc area. Now, the reason why the Lis Franc area is really important is that basically supports the foot. If you have disruption in this area, it can be very hard to basically support the arch of the foot. In addition, it's very hard to do things like pushing off and doing athletic type activities. Now, on an x-ray, you can see breaks, but there can also be some suggestion that that Lis Franc complex is actually disrupted. And one of the things you may notice, and this is a model of a foot that there can be some injury to the space between the first and second bones right over here. Sometimes you'll see widening of this space. Sometimes you'll see certain avulsion fractures in that area that can be suggestive of that. So typically if that's the case, then an athlete will get further testing done the subsequent day. Sometimes that can be CT scans. Sometimes that can be MRIs. And even though you may see fractures or widening that may be suggestive of it, sometimes that CT or MRI will show that that complex is not actually disrupted. The reason why that's important is that if you have a list franc injury, particularly if there's a multiple fractures or it's very high energy, most of these will go on to surgery. Sometimes if it's just a partial injury or a sprain, you don't necessarily need surgery for this injury. Now, if it is a surgical Lis Franc injury, which it sounds like it's not based on the report, then typically athletes will not have to miss an extended period of time. Sometimes it can be six to nine months for a Lis Franc injury. If it just simply then is fractures in the foot, then the return to play really is determined based on what exactly is broken, how big those injuries are, if the fractures are actually stable, meaning that there's not much instability in the foot based on where they're broken, and if the athlete can tolerate pain. Now, in general, for foot fractures that don't need surgery, you're looking at a timeline of return to play somewhere between six to eight weeks. Now, obviously this can vary based on where the bone is broken, how many bones are broken, and if the athlete can basically tolerate the pain. But for a non-surgical foot fracture, it totally is within the realm of possibility if Jimmy Grapple is able to get pain control, his bones heal, and he's able to play confidently that he can be back to play this season. Obviously, we don't know exactly what bones are broken, but based on what's been reported and based on the fact that they've basically ruled out a Lis Franc injury, there is a likelihood that that could potentially happen. Now, obviously, you have to see how his bones respond and how he does in terms of his rehab. But once you've ruled out that severe Lis Franc injury and the fact that potentially the breaks may not necessarily be very large or involve critical areas, the possibility to return to play definitely exists with this general type of foot injury. Thank you.